Welcome, young Hosketeers. Uh, today we're looking at um, a tool called the CRM Early Bound Generator. I saw a uh, tweet from Tangai the Tool Man, legendary XRM toolbox uh, creator, and he was saying that uh, one of his buddies, or someone he knew, <laughs> Uh, had created a CRM early bound generator. So I thought I'd have a look. I um, previously had, uh, for those of you who don't know what early bound ge generator is or what early bound uh, stuff is in CRM, it's basically a way of creating early bound classes. So this is creating, so for, say the account entity, you'd be creating um, a sort of a record of a sort of a, an entity for um, the account record and all the fields on there so you can basically access the account record like a variable inside CRM so instead of entity you'd then open account uh, and that's kind of the ent the uh, account extends entity but it has all of the uh, fields that are in the account so in this way, it's kind of strong typed, where you would a you could access all the um, all the actual fields like account name and uh, the other fields there, and so there's none of this typing in of field names, which obviously can be potentially wrong because you so you can get a syntax error, you can mistype, and so this tool will create those and bit of uh, history let's find oh, well, I hid them. Um, for those of you who haven't done this before there's basically inside the CRM SDK there's a CRM SVC util tool and this is a command line generation tool used basically you can call it and it will create all your uh, early bound entity classes for you um, there's a page here which I'll link to on my blog post, which kind of link to this uh, video. And you can call it, um, you can pass it a bunch of variables like uh, the sort of URL of um, your CRM, where you want to put out, uh, etc. like that. And it comes out into things a bit like this. So there you go. And so, th but this tool that's been created, it's a bit of a hassle to be honest. Once you get it, done and into like a little bat file it's it's fairly simple um, but you often you don't often because it's a bat file you don't often change the variables and you do it once and it's not really very configurable so um, this is why this tool is quite useful because it basically takes the pain of doing this and it's made it into a nice application which is easy to use but it's good to know uh, how it's done. In fact, I uh, have blogged about this in the past. So look, I, I did a simple, I used to do this, a simple um, example there. And then I also uh, added it to the CRM tools menu in Visual Studio. So I could just click there and then fire off my uh, little bin file. See, look at that. Magic. Um, so I've had a, a little bit of uh, experience with that in the past. So I was interested to see how this works. So you go to the site here. Um, it, I would also say there's very good documentation. He's put a lot of effort in and uh, he's explained everything here, which is uh, always appreciated when uh, <laughs> you're trying to get these things to work. Um, it's, it's also actually... There's a surprising number of uh, variables and things you can tick and choose um, inside the tool. So you download this. This will take you to right. Oh, it's a quick pause in filming there. My uh, two-year-old daughter had lost her snuggie. But uh, snuggly safe, snuggy safely found, and we can now continue. Right, so you download this. This will take you to this. It will download. It will download this uh, thing here. Uh, well, 
it'll be a zip file, unzip it, and you've got this, and as you can see, the XRM toolbox. Um, so one tip here is if you've got the XML, XRM toolbox, you can copy this MSCRM tools 2011 and copy that into your thing here and it'll basically bring the connections you've created for that into here and save you doing it again, which is uh, always useful. So you do that, unzip it, click this bad boy, it'll now run, seeing the and then it's only got instead of the multiple uh, choices you've only got one connect to CRM bring up your selections that's a good description actually as advanced features and configuration to the generation of early bound CRM entities that is exactly what it does actually Right, uh, then you'll get this, uh, you can see, you've got your choices. What I like actually is this little box here, it tells you like a tooltip of what you're looking at. So, tells you all the little things. And so this, from your connection, uh, your connection that you created there, it takes those variables and uses them inside here and basically passes them to the to the to the CRM SVT util and basically so well, this is a wrapper and it's got it's, it'll have that inside here and it will use it and it will just pass across the fields you've selected um, and what is very good is that you've got entities to skip so often you'll be creating, you really only want to do this for the entities you're using in the plugins and the ones that you are sort of uh, linked in the plugins. And you know, and most of these, you don't want, you don't really need all these being created. And because what can happen is you create your um, entities file to be linked and it'd be ginormous and it takes ages to create them for every, uh, every single entity um, but also has option sets to skip so you might not use some of those so it just it, a lot of t hints and tips to shrink down that entities file um, and so you can create entities you can create op option sets or you can create both and one interesting thing is you can create one entity per file. Entities path must be a directory. What does that mean? Create one file per entity. Well, that pops up a message. But, um, so I'll untick that. I'm just going to create them all in one big file. And here you can see that the variable is being passed across and telling you really what's happening. And it will whir away. Basically, when it's finished, entities.cs completed successfully. <laughs> gives you a message. Look at that. Uh, be a chortle when uh, he added that one, and then you can see here, like account. So it's got all its variables. And it's creating so you can see, see this is a fairly big file because it's created it for every single entity. Can we see the size of this? Yes, yeah, so that's five megs. Okay, so if you tick that, it doesn't seem to work. Maybe you have to tick this as well. No, so as I say, it might be useful to. I've never, I'd never do it one per file, but okay, that doesn't seem to work. Maybe uh, he'll fix that. It's only uh, early stages, I guess. Um, so the other options are 
enums. So it will create an enum for option set properties on an NC. That, that's also useful. You can skip some. So that's a, a nice feature. I guess we should really see the file in action. Um, so let's go to my... I'll add it there, then I will oh, I need to shrink this. Okay, you can see that now. And then I'll so I've added it into the directory. I'll add a add existing item. I'll select entity. And this one I didn't do anything with, so I uh, so now I think I should not very annoying. I want to do stop. That is Probably a way to stop that. Hopefully, someone will watch this video and tell me. <laughs> so now you can see. Um, so I've typed an account. Account is the type of the record of the, and then account is the name and new account. Now because we've got our entities in there we can use early bound and so now that's created that and so now you can see that we've got all our all the fields on the account form are now accessible so you know if you wanted to dress line If we look to my follow up, I was doing a task about uh, the update. So, this one it looked for account rating code. So, here, see now we can go account. Account rating code. Okay, and it knows it's an option set value. Okay, the reason that is just I'm just being stupid. So basically, what you do is go
So there you go. So what you do is um, you can see that I've kind of created the account. I've um, I've created created a new value for it. So this I know that's an option set, and you can hover over this, and you can see that that is an option set there. So you need to assign it with an option set, and so that would do that. And then you'd do a service CRM service. I, I organization which I usually call service um, and then do an update pass in the account and bosh you've got it will update the values for you so that's that's the benefit of early bound uh, classes um, so overall the tool is um, it's very good very useful you can do it the sort of similar thing inside um, the developer toolkit um, by Entities generate wrapper, but this has the advantage of creating enums. Um, it also has the advantage of choosing ones you want to skip, so reducing the file a lot. And you can have it's got it's got a few other capitalization and. Uh, you can, but I don't know what that, that does. Seems interesting that one. Anyway, so once again, much too long review. But there you go. That's a look at the new early bound uh, generator. Uh, good stuff. Well done, the Hulkster. <laughs>